Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about data structures. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, how important is the ability to create data structures from scratch versus just knowing how to use them? For example, knowing how to use arrays, objects, dictionaries in a language such as in web development. Also, how important is knowledge of data structures when working in web development? Thank you for your time and for your videos. No sweat, dude. So, this is a good question. And it's a complicated question because it, it brings me to... It's a multi-layered question. And there are different circumstances that we need to account for in order to accurately answer this. So, first things first. If I now sit here and I tell you, no, it's not important to know all of that much about data structures, then I'm not going to be telling you the truth. I'm going to tell you a version of the truth. And that version of the truth is that in web development, what you usually are dealing with. I mean, it of course depends on the backend language. So the examples that the subscriber was giving is such as arrays. Yes, you need to know what an array is. There's no discussion. It's a very, very, very basic data structure. But it's a whole lot of a difference as he's asking. Implementing it from scratch and knowing how it works. Knowing how it works is more than good enough for a web developer. In fact, you cannot actually implement an array in, say, JavaScript or Java or something like that in an efficient way. Like it's uh, like if we're talking, if we're not talking about a list, where you're actually talking about a native array, the actual thing. Then, if you're going to implement that from scratch, you would have to you you would have to go lower. You you can't actually do it without having the uh, having access through it to the um, th from the interface now if you were to make a stack or a queue or one of these more advanced little bit of a higher level type of concepts or even a list actually if you really want to do it you could implement those sorts of things and this is where the other part of this question becomes relevant you see understanding how to do that Although it is not necessary for you to know how to do that on a daily basis because you're never going to do it. You're simply going to consume the interface of some code that somebody else wrote, which is one of the authors of the language that you're using because these data structures are already in the languages, practically all of them. But with that said, in a technical interview, you might actually get this question because for some reason, the world feels that the way that we measure whether or not a, especially a web developer is useful or not, is based on their understanding of basically system levels programming or computer science related questions, which is, it's, it, for the most part, it has no value to you. It is so rare that you have any use whatsoever of knowing these more complicated structures as a web developer. There are situations, I will, I will tell you right here and right now, there are situations and from personal experience and from ex like my coworkers and so forth, I can tell you that even though I can tell you, I can explain in great detail how all of these data structures work and so forth because I've, d I, I've taken the time to learn it, I can tell you that I don't remember a single time where I have been forced to implement any of this for work purposes. Never. I've never done it. And it's not because I don't know how, it is because there are, I never face a problem where it is useful. And that's the key thing here. If you have that problem, whole different story. All of a sudden it might become relevant, but it's very similar to a a, a you being forced to implement a, crypto, a cryptographic algorithm. You're not going to have to because there are already standards that are so more much more developed than anything in many cases at the very least that you will possibly be able to do yourself. So the default will be that you're using what somebody else already wrote. So the the tr like the answer to this question is actually r really that 
no, you don't have to know how to implement these things for the daily grind, but you will be expected to know these things when you, in many cases at the very least, when you get interviewed, because you don't really know what sort of questions you're going to get. And the question about how important is knowledge of data structures when working as a web developer, well, there are there are patterns and of course there are certain types of data structures that are useful to know about but once again it comes back to what is what type of problem are you solving and is the data structure or we can even go one further and say design pattern is the design pattern a good fit for that thing and this is the paradox that I think is so hard to deal with when we're talking about junior developers because the thing is if you don't know about it you will not be able to you, you will be limited in limited in your way of thinking it's very similar to uh, any type of education the more education you have the more options you have in terms of thought the loftier your thought process is going to be in other words you will be able to see more you will be able to reason more and your solutions will actually be better because you just have more information to consider when you're dealing with a problem if you know very little you only have a very limited amount of possibilities that you're going to come up with because you don't know enough so you need okay so knowing it will actually make you a better developer but at the same time, as a junior developer, if you go too broad, odds are that you will not have the maturity to know when to apply something and not to apply something. There are so many instances where I've seen, I actually saw, this was, this happened at my first job. This was a, like, I don't even want to call her a junior, maybe she was a junior. She, like, she, ha she was completely obsessed with the singleton pattern. She was completely obsessed that this was, she was convinced that the single the single turn pattern was the way to go for a specific problem. Now, she actually got fired because the other developers couldn't deal with her obsession about uh, her conviction that this was the way to be doing things. And she was delaying, uh, in this specific case, she was actually delaying the project and they had actual issues. And it very quickly showed that although she knew what a singleton was, she didn't have a good understanding of when to apply it and when not to. Because uh, I like to say that teaching a junior developer a design pattern is like uh, giving uh, just give it's uh, usually at the very least when they try to apply it it's like watching someone who doesn't know how to cook take a fistful of salt or pepper or something just throw it in the food if you see a senior developer do it they take a little pinch and just sprinkle it but a junior will not know how much to use or like they don't know what the ratio should be so they just throw the whole thing in right so she I, I thought in that scenario I honestly I thought that I wasn't really involved at that point, but I felt it was a little bit strong to get fired for that sort of thing. But it could, I mean, it did happen. So it, it wasn't enough that she knew about the thing. She actually needed to also have a good understanding of how do I apply this thing? When is it right to use it? When it's not right? When is it not right to use it? And that comes with experience and maturity. But as I said, in order to get there, you need to know about it. So what I want you to take away from this is that most of the time you will not need to know how to implement a like your own version of an array or a dictionary or whatever because you're basically just consuming what someone else already made. These basic data structures are already in the languages that you will be using as a web developer. However, you need to know how they work. At the very least you need to know how they work at the basic level because it's very very likely that you will find a interview process or something like that where someone might ask you can you please implement a stack for me or a queue or whatever right or a linked list and explain it to me like how does it work and because the, it's it's one, it's a very popular way of evaluating whether or not you know anything about computer science and software related, related work and I'm very sorry to say that that's the case even though in a day-to-day -day thing I you will never build it yourself but you still need to kind of understand it because as I was saying if it, it, that it gives you a loftier way of thinking about things. It gives you more information to use when you're trying to figure out how to solve a problem, which is very useful. 
but at the same time that's the that's a very dangerous road it's like uh, it, it, it is a little bit like opening Pandora, Pandora's box because a lot of junior developers will get really obsessed with design patterns and different type of data structure and they get so into this stuff that they try to use it like they become more oriented around trying to get to use the stuff that they have studied the theory that they've learned they get so focused on it that they try to apply it incorrectly and that can actually be that that becomes an anti-pattern immediately so you should know about things but you should l let things just take its time sometimes you will find that yes it is a good appropriate moment to use a specific type of structure or a specific um, uh, design pattern but if you are trying to force that just because you think that it's useful or that you really want to use it you might have it might be the case that other developers get really annoyed with you because they're more experienced and they kind of know like when it should be used and when it not should it shouldn't shouldn't be used and in an extreme case you can actually get fired so it's a, it's a fine balance between knowing how to use something and when to actually use it. Have a great day.